Now that, motor test of the week again. Uh, this week I'm going to be testing a Dr. Mad Thrust Inrunner. It's the 2970-3000kV. Um, I've got a Hobbywing 100 amp ESC. And I'm going to be testing it on my high power 60C Zippy Compact 2700 milliamp 4 cell. And start off, I've got a 4.75 by 4.75 APC prop. I've got the blast shield on there just in case. Alright, let's see what we get on the thrust. Loud. All right. Take the shield off. Let's have a look. Thirteen point eight one voltage drop. What? <laughs> Eighty-seven amps, twelve hundred and forty-nine watts. different prop. Right, I've top the barrier up a bit and changed over to a TGS 4.75 by 4.75 prop. Still on the same four cell. See what this gives. <laughs> well that was significantly different. Let's see what we get. And oh, this drop weren't as bad. 81 amps, 1174 watts. So that was a lot more thrust and a bit less current draw. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, I think I might go up to a 5x5. Five five. Okay, now I've took, changed over to a Grotner 5.2x5.2 cam prop. Oh god. That made my ears ring, that did. a bit a bit much 112 amps 1583 watts uh, yeah that was quite a bit <laughs> quite a bit over what that's supposed to take um, let's see what if we can get a temperature reading Twenty-seven. Mm, Twenty-seven. Yeah, that's uh, that was a bit much. All right, let's try a different prop. Right, I now have a TGS five by five prop on there. Still the same battery. Been topped up, so yeah. Crikey, that was the best yet. 1800 grams of thrust. Blimey. Well, it was only 102 amps. Fifteen hundred and six watts. Still more than what this motor is supposed to take, but oh, 
don't know what that was. Power's been going on and off here a bit, a bit today, so yeah. So that was um, that was interesting. Right, eighteen hundred grams of thrust that was. Right, I'll try one more prop on the four cell. Right, this one might be a bit much for it. I've swapped over to a gem fan. 5.5 by 5.5 and uh, they're listed under Aero Star props on Hobby King. Alright, let's have a look what we get here. Blimey, just touched 1900 grams of thrust there. Oh, gold. <laughs> yes, that's a bit much. 128 and a half amps. Whoops. I think that was a bit too much for that. 1885 watts. Uh, yeah, that's got that little bit warm. Jumped up to 31 degrees. Right, I think that was a bit much. I might let that cool down and I'm going to uh, do something a bit mad and stick a small prop on it and try it on a 5 cell. Right, I'm starting off very small on the 5 cell. I've got a 4.1 by 4.1 TGS prop. Battery is a normal Zippy, 2650 milliamp, 45C 5 cell. Let's see what we get here. Blimey! That amount of thrust out of just over a 4 inch prop. That's not bad. Eighty two amps, thirteen hundred and ninety nine watts. What's the motor like? And that was just a quick blast. It would be uh, cooler in the air. Alright. I might try just one more prop on that. Right, I've propped up to a 4.5 by 4.5 TGS prop. Uh, still on the 5 cell. I didn't bother topping it up though because it didn't go down too bad. Um, this is going to be a bit mental. Might be a bit much. Incredible. What was that? 16.44 voltage drop. 91 and a half amps. 1538 watts. Oh. Yeah, still isn't even that warm. Only 30 degrees. Let's give that another blast. God, that's nearly two kilos of thrust on a four and a half inch propeller. 
Ooh, power's flickering off again. It went up a bit there, 93 amps. <laughs> Damn, my ears are ringing. That is very loud. Yeah, it's got a little bit warm, but it's not, it's not too bad. I've known motors to get hotter. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to get in on an in runner. It's easier to get on temperature reading than an out runner. But even then, I've had motors over 40 degrees. Right. That was the top to man thrust 2970 3000 kV. That was this motor test of the week. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe, and I'll be bringing you uh, one of these motor tests every week. Uh, trying to figure out what's a good prop to run on each motor. I'm going to save you the bother. <laughs> I've got loads of motors to test and I'll be figuring this all out giving you the specs and uh, yeah every week right see you then bye bye